During the last solar eclipse in our area, on February 26, 1998, something caught my eye in the shadow of a tree. What I saw then gave me an idea for a way to film our next eclipse on August 21, 2017. This video describes what I'm going to do and why. We begin with a simulated time lapse of the shadow of a tree during the eclipse. Here, three hours have been compressed into 45 seconds. Focus on the shapes of the light patches and observe how those shapes evolve over time. What you are seeing is multiple images of the sun as the moon passes in front of it. Little gaps between the leaves, or in this case, little holes in the leaves, act as pinhole cameras with the asphalt acting as the focal plane. This is only a rough simulation. During the actual eclipse with actual trees, the leaves will jiggle and wiggle with the wind, and so these images of the sun will be dancing. Here's my sun. In the model, it's about a third of a mile away. It's to scale, about 17 feet in diameter. Here's the moon. Here's the moon eclipsing the sun. Here's the same scene rendered. Here is one of the leaves. Here are the leaves arranged up in the air. Here's a drone shot. And here you see the trees. The lowest leaves are about 10 feet off the ground and the highest are about 80 feet. Let's watch it again, slowed down a little bit, this time with an insert showing the sun and the moon in action. So my plan for the eclipse is to stand next to a tree and film the ground for three hours. And if the weather cooperates, I'll post a time-lapse video of dancing sickles marching across your screen. <laughs> 